Hey guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, welcome you and introduce you to our new sub-series here on the Smogan Tire, all about boats. I love boats. I love being on the ocean. I love being on lakes. I love being on the water. Uh, just some background on it. I could sail before I could drive a car. Uh, I've been driving boats of one kind or another for basically my entire life, and I just love boats so much. And so in the interest of variety, in the interest of doing something new, I've decided to try and do some boat one takes, uh, which we are calling one wakes. Brilliant, right? So couple notes on the one wakes. Uh, like with the cars, uh, audio when you're by yourself uh, is an issue. And uh, I have sort of figured it out how to do it. Uh, by the time you've seen this first one, I have filmed a whole bunch of these things. And uh, I want you to just be a little bit patient with me for the first few as I, uh, I learn how to do audio. It's a little, it requires some massaging. It's a little iffy when we're talking about, you know, 60 miles an hour of wind. Uh, with no protection at all, stuff like that. It's a little tricky, so just please bear with us in the first couple. Be patient. Tr it's usable. It's good, but uh, but it's not perfect. But we're doing our best to get to perfect. And uh, with that, enjoy our first of what is hopefully many one wakes. Oh, and if you uh, have a boat in California, or for now, if you're in Miami, where I will be later this summer, uh, hit me up if you want me to to, uh, to do your boat on social media. Send me pictures, specs, what have you, and uh, we'll see if we can get you on a one wake. Enjoy. Morning, guys. Welcome to uh, our first official boat review. I did. Uh, I sort of did a silly one in Thailand, and it, it turns out you guys kind of like that. So here we are. We're doing boats now, and this is going to be the thing. Uh, this is Rick, and thank you for having me. Uh, Rick, you may remember from uh, his Datsun 510 video we did on tuned. Beautiful SR20 swap. Wide body. Loved that car. Loved it. You still have that car? Oh, yeah. That's a keeper, that yeah, one. That one's not going anywhere. Oh, it's beautiful. And so you've, uh, you've invited me out uh, to drive your water ski boat. Tell me about this thing. This is a 2012 Checkmate 24-foot BRX, open bow, uh, 300 horse outboard. Just great all-around boat. Lake boat, it's, primarily? It's a lake boat. Yeah, and, we uh, use it for ski, wakeboarding, water skiing, air chairing. So, you know, I do, I, I, I can wakeboard a bit. Um, when you're shopping for, I've never, I've never shopped for a, a wakeboard boat or a ski boat before. What, what do you look for in a ski boat? This isn't really a designed wakeboard specific boat, but it's at ski speed, it has a really small wake, so it water skis great. Uh -huh. And at wakeboard speed, it has an okay wake for wakeboarding. But it's it's basically a great all around boat, and it's it's tall enough you can go in the big lakes, uh -huh. and it's fast enough to get you around. Um, but it just it's a really good compromise. It does everything really well. I like a well rounded boat, and this seems like it seems like you could fit six eight people on this thing comfortably. There's, there's a lot of room. We've had it at Powell, my wife and I, and camped in it, and there's enough room to sleep in it. Really, where do you sleep on this boat? There's a, actually a platform that makes the front flat. Oh, you just, just right out there, huh? I'm 6'4", I can sleep flat out without bending my knees in the front. Oh, that's super cool. That's lovely. So it, it was great. We just, wherever we ended up, we anchored the boat and camped. That's awesome. So mainly this boat lives on a trailer at your house, right? And then yeah. you bring it where you need it when yeah, you need it. Just yeah, just take it out when we use it. Well, I'm excited. It's a, it's a pretty boat. It's got a great color scheme. I love the paint flake on it. Seems like you got a pretty uh, sweet Clarion uh, stereo system here, too. It's not bad. Can you spin yeah. those around, the speakers around, so you can listen to them when you're you, skiing, yeah, too? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Does it work well? Is that a thing? We usually leave them like this. Usually uh, when you're skiing, you're more concentrating on what yeah. you're doing. If you were wake surfing, which yeah. this boat doesn't put out a big enough wake for that, then you can definitely listen to the music. But at ski speeds, no. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's take her out. Let's right. let's not sit on this dock anymore. What do we do? Just why don't you fire her up? Yeah, this is um, has to be a neutral. This one's a little different. You've got your throttle. And That's then you throttle have and then reverse. transmission, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Cool. Reverse. All so right. Be neutral. Just it'll fire right. All right. Ooh, yeah. Need a hand? Okay. I'll uh, I'll just handle the uh, steering portion then. Cool? Yeah. And a hoppa. Forward. Brilliant. Okay, cool.
Man, already I've decided this is better than cars. <laughs> I have figured out a loophole here. Yeah. Oh, your your watch the skier mirror is yeah, great. A... All right. So, uh, in terms of operation of this boat, you know the boats I'm actually more used to are your traditional uh, Boston Whaler style East Coast boats. We'll call them. This is actually from the East Coast. Is it? And built in the East Coast. Yeah. Where is Checkmate from? <sighs> I put you on the spot. You put Sorry. Me on the spot. Sorry. Yeah, you put me on the spot. All right, I think we'll, we'll yeah. figure out. Yeah. Uh, but uh, this has the, the separate throttle and transmission levers, which they do in some bigger boats. And why, what's, why do they do that for a ski boat? It's just an upgraded Lavorsi package. Uh-huh. That That's it, huh? It's just a nicer setup. You'll see once, when you, when you throttle up, the throttle's really smooth, effortless, where the other style, when you actually put it in gear, there's a little more resistance and more drag. Yeah, the the uh, the cable, the ones where it's one lever, you know, forward to reverse with neutral in the middle. We have one of those on our whaler, and it's not my favorite, frankly. Um, I've done the ones where it's drive by wire, and those are like, I mean, it's like silky smooth, you know. But for this, I I, I like more levers. It looks reminds me of like a Lenko. It's, it's nice. Box. I've had I've only had outboard boats too because I love the outboards because oh, there's okay. more room in the boat and they just get up and go. Yeah, and if you if you break a motor, it's it's not taking out the whole boat. No, they are expensive though. Yeah. Fix. But the the other boats I had had the regular one stick setup, and this is definitely nicer. It's nice. Yeah. I like I like it so far. All right, so we will pause our video. Well, if just note for editing, I'm gonna leave the cameras rolling until we uh, get out to to where we can go a little quicker. All right, Rick. What do you say? Should we open her up? Let's go. A little bit. So, 300 horsepower, uh, Optimax Mercury Marine engine, 3.2 liter, according to the side of the yeah. side. And it's a 3.2 liter four cylinder? It's a six cylinder. It's a six cylinder. It's oh, six. cool. All right, great, great. So, you get some torque out of it as well. It's yeah, not it's just. Not bad. Yeah. Just, well, I'm excited. Just push it to the stop. <laughs> push it to the stop? Push yeah. it until it stops. All right. Well, <laughs> let's, let's go quick. Wow, the feel of that lever is great. Oh yeah. Gets right up on plane, that's nice. Oh man, we're going. Yeah. Oh, this is very good. Um, I mean, my eyes are getting super watery. <laughs> I definitely brought the wrong pair of Dylan Optic sunglasses. The wind is going around them. Having trouble seeing actually. Wow, motor feels great. Really smooth. You, you've got a trim tab on there if you want to play with the trim. Oh, here, yeah. I 
grip. Does it have grip? Is that what we call it? What do we call it? Yeah, it's grip. It'll, it'll break loose a little bit, but you can get on it and crank it. I mean, if you want it. Oh, it feels nice. How pretty is this, too, huh? Oh, bug in the eye. Right in the eye there. <laughs> What a fun little boat this is. Has it been uh, mostly trouble free for you, this thing? Completely trouble free. Yeah. yeah. Is that motor original to the boat? Yeah, it, does. it has about 120 hours on it. It doesn't have a bunch of time on it. Well, you're in lakes, you know, so you're not doing these huge ocean transits. How deep is this lake here? You know? Probably. 400 feet? I'm estimating at the dam, I'm estimating. Oh wow, I did not know that. Look at this little cove, how delightful. Yeah, it's kind of the hangout back here in the summer, there's a little sandbar. That's like the picnic area back there? Yeah, that's, that's where I see that picture of the boats in Yeah, the yeah. Cool, let's flip around and go back to the open water. Really crank her over. Oh yeah, she sticks. Oh yeah. Well, you she can, sticks? That's you can really romp on it. Little derifto there. Oh, this is delightful. And you trim, trim the motor up a little bit. There you go, just a little bit. Get a little more of the boat out of the water. Yeah, yeah. Now I feel like we're really up it's out of it. A little bit lighter. Yeah. Yeah, when you trim that motor up higher, you, you really feel the back raise out. I'm it's like drooling everywhere. Into the boat. Boat. The wind is making me tear and drool at the same time. <laughs> All right, power. Oh boy. Oh, she goes. Uh oh. Wow, I'm really. <laughs> you alright? Oh no, my shoe or your shoe? My shoe. Oh, I'm sorry. The boat's too fast. Shoes are flying. Wow, this is a this is a really cool boat, man. I like this a lot. It, it really, I mean, it's really got some power to it, huh? Not bad. Power to weight ratio yeah. is great. Yeah, power to weight's excellent. It's it's really it's good. Just a good sporty boat. It's not a yeah. it's not a hundred mile an hour boat, but it's definitely fast enough to. It gets exciting and it gets its speed, it gets loose. And yeah, it does. And, and on this little lake, I mean, 50 feels like a ton on this lake. It feels like it really wants to jump out of the water and go. That's great. Let's give it some, just so uh, that water ski pull. So just probably, flat to the yeah, Turn the motor down. There you go. And That's all the way stand. down. Yeah. So flat to the floorboard, as it were, yeah. from a dig. Here we go. Oh, wow. It gets right up on cam there. Yeah. Yeah, now we see why it's called here. 
Pyramid Lake. Well, now we're over on this side here at the dam, and we've gone from one end of the lake to the other. Oh, that's a good ride, man. I think we got a video. I think this is a good boat, man. I totally get this. It's a blast. It's just a really good do everything. Yeah, boat, and you, you know? said reliable. It's super reliable. Somewhat yeah. reasonably priced as far as boats go. Yeah, yeah. Not not boats the are prime, expensive. Of course boats they are. are expensive. This boat's around seventy-eight grand new. I bought it. I bought it two years old for forty-eight. Oh, that's not bad. So I, I think I scored on it. It was the best. That's you not know, bad at all. With sixty hours, I, mean, I think I got Dude, a really good deal on like it. Seems like a ton of boat. That's for, a great for boat. that kind of money. It's, I mean, yeah. fifty miles an hour pulling skiers. You said yeah. you can change the prop in five you minutes know, and goes almost seventy. With it propped, I, it's it'll do right at 68, 69 with a with a twenty five pitch prop. This makes a lot of sense. I get. I totally get this boat, Rick. Yep. Thank you for letting me have oh, a go. You're welcome. Um, let me know what you think about this. I got a couple of boats lined up. I, I, I'm all about driving boats. I think this is going to be a fun little sub-series here. Uh, doing all kinds of weird boats. Uh-oh. Is that? Oh, it's, that's water. That's not fuel. Fuel is good. I that's the oil, which the, the float bulb in the oil <laughs> tank doesn't work. I looked yeah. down and saw an E-gauge, and I was like, uh-oh. No, we're good. Um, yeah. This was great. Thank you, Rick. Uh, awesome. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of our boat videos, and we'll keep doing a few of them. <laughs> See how it goes. Later.